This video will help you learn and visualize how people used to live in the past and how things were arranged many years ago. It turns out that some events and scenes from the past can be viewed from a completely different angle. Here are some rare historical photographs that will completely change your perception of the past. A French crossbowman from World War I, 1914. Crossbows were actively used in that war, primarily for lobbing grenades into enemy trenches. These crossbows could lob a spherical grenade weighing up to a kilogram to a distance of up to 125 meters. A contest for the most beautiful women's legs on the beach in Istanbul, Turkey, 1971. On April 28, 1988, the roof of an Aloha Airlines plane got torn off at an altitude of 7,300 meters, but the plane was able to land safely. Prince Charles dancing the Hopak in the 1980s. This 1893 photo doesn't picture criminals or boxers after losing matches. These are students from the prestigious Princeton University. They simply had a snowball fight. Each of them probably went on to have a brilliant career in science. Protective clothing of a nurse from the X-ray department during World War I, France, 1918. Objects that were used to cover facial injuries. French wrestler Maurice Tillet and American supermodel Doris Lee, 1945. Shrek was later based off of him. Women cleaning a giant replica of a Studebaker car, Chicago, 1934. It was probably the largest car in the world. In 1920, the concept of healthy habits was a bit different. Here, the athletes are casually sharing cigarettes during the Tour de France bicycle race. Women delivering ice in Lower Manhattan, New York, 1918. World War I broke out across Europe, and women began to take on tasks that were previously performed exclusively by men, from working in factories to transporting massive ice blocks to the front lines. The need for such work was obvious during the time when refrigerators weren't yet widely available. Back then, ice was distributed throughout the country by couriers, who transported huge ice blocks across the country on carts and trucks. The ladies in this photo delivered ice from the distributor to homes throughout Manhattan so that it could be used to keep the food cold. As refrigerators and freezers became more widespread, the company gradually scaled back its operations. Construction of the Berlin Wall, 1961. Understanding among the victorious allies did not last long, and their relations became strained. The conflict escalated and eventually ended in the Cold War. One of the cornerstones of this conflict was the construction of the Berlin Wall, which divided the German capital into the Soviet and Western blocs. East Berlin guards adding barbed wire to the top of the Berlin Wall in 1972. The fall of the Berlin Wall, 1989. The grim symbol of the Cold War, which had divided Berlin and the civilized world into communists and capitalists, stood for almost 30 years until the perestroika came to the Union and the collapse of the socialist camp began. East German socialists lost power in the GDR, and on November 9, 1989, the wall fell to the joyful cheers from both sides. Girls playing volleyball on stilts at Venice Beach, 1934. Duchenne's shoemaker, who lived in the 19th century, French neurologist Guillaume Duchenne studied the reaction of muscles and nerves to electrical impulses. His work laid the foundation for electromyography, a diagnostic test that could detect nerve damage. Among other things, Duchenne captured the facial expressions of patients when electrical impulses were applied to various facial nerves. The problem was the long exposure time of photography at the time, which hindered such a procedure. However, Duchenne was lucky to have a middle-aged shoemaker with facial nerve paralysis at his disposal. In other words, if Duchenne managed to get some expression on the patient's face by applying electricity to a certain facial muscle, that expression would remain unchanged for several minutes until the muscle relaxed. This allowed him to make a high-quality long-exposure photograph. The doctor conducted over 100 experiments on the shoemaker, attaching electrodes to various muscles and capturing a wide range of facial expressions. The research, accompanied by photographs, was published under the title The Mechanism of Human Physiognomy. Through his work, Duchenne identified the function of several facial muscles and, in particular, revealed the mechanism of smiling. 
In 1958, Mao declared a campaign against sparrows in China, claiming they were eating all the crops. People took up the decree enthusiastically. They stood on rooftops waving rags. The thing is, sparrows need to rest every 15 minutes or so. But people didn't let the birds land, scaring them away by making sounds with rags and other devices. Sparrows literally dropped dead, and people brought them to the special collection points. In just a few days, over a million sparrows were killed, and within a few months, they virtually disappeared from the entire territory of China. The following year, a terrible famine began, as caterpillars ate all the crops, making it difficult for the Chinese to feed their families. Jose Mefre and his legendary bicycle, on which he set a speed record in 1962. Accelerating behind a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL, the cyclist reached a speed of 204.73 km per hour. The record lasted for 20 years. Handcuffed prisoners using their legs to operate mill wheels in Yangon Prison, Myanmar in 1900. Painting of the Eiffel Tower in 1932. Physicist Harold Agnew holding the core of the Fat Man atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki in 1945. It seems like an ordinary photo with nothing remarkable at first glance. Now look at the person in the background, in the left corner of the photo. Now look at the tanks in the right corner. This person is the unknown rebel who single-handedly blocked a column of tanks during the Tiananmen Square protests in June 1989. The identity of the rebel couldn't be established, but there is a theory that it was 19-year-old Beijing University student Wang Weilin. His fate is unknown. He may have been executed or imprisoned, or he may have escaped from the country. Rare shots of the frozen Niagara Falls in 1885. Although it was only partially frozen when this photo was taken, it froze completely only once in 1848 due to the water speed. The waterfall was discovered by French colonists in the 17th century, but remained relatively unknown to the wider public for many years. Annie Edson Taylor was the first person to descend Niagara Falls in a barrel. Annie planned to make a fortune with this unique PR stunt. She intended to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel on her birthday, October 24, 1901. Have you ever seen Niagara Falls without water? Do you know what happened to it in June 1969? American engineers temporarily dried up the Niagara Riverbed near the falls for the first time in 12,000 years. They originally planned to clear the bottom of the falls of a massive amount of fallen rocks, but this idea had to be abandoned due to the lack of funds. During the temporary respite, the riverbed was reinforced to slow down the erosion of the famous falls. In November 1969, a team of U.S. Army engineers blew up the temporary dam, and millions of cubic meters of water rushed back.